Hello. Today, my mic's actually working. <laughs> and we have a brand new contest. Now, of course, we had the start of the prize war yesterday. As you can see here, all good. Did all of my missions yesterday to get 32 points. Haven't unlocked them yet. I'm going to have a look on Monday. On Monday, we'll do a bit of a prize war spree and see where we can get him upgraded. So it's Friday. I hope you've all had a brilliant week. And I am getting my computer parts today and sending them off to repair next Tuesday. So hopefully by the end of next week, we'll be there. So, okay, so the port's opened up here. It's all good. I'm not going to do anything yet because I haven't seen the contest. And that's Friday's review. We want to see the contest. Now, I'd imagine it would probably be something about Cosimodo. It seemed like a lost cause if it wasn't. But let's take a look. Also, a quick mention, the battle pass has been updated and the price has also been lowered by quite a significant amount, which, in my opinion, actually makes the battle pass worth it. So what I'm going to do over the next 27 days is actually see if I can finish the battle pass because I think this one only came out yesterday. If I'm, I might be wrong, but I think it only came out yesterday. But what they've done now is of course it works the same logic that it's the previous prize war character but what we've obviously got here now is we're getting 850 850 850 850 every single tier so what i'm thinking is if you get all of those maxed out there's 25 tiers so that's 850 times 25 which it's just, just it's a lot and then you unlock it and it's it's eight pound now so i'm going to do that if i can get to the final tier in 27 days which should be okay because every tier is nine and you can get 11 a day now. So that means there's a there's a couple of days where you can get a little bit of overlap, which is lovely. Now I'm not sure how long, or if it's just started or what, but I'm gonna make sure <coughs> I come in every day now to take advantage of this. So that's, that's one, then I open a diamond crate, because the good thing is now I'm doing obviously doing the prize war missions, which normally balance out anyway, to kind of give me a bit more in the quests. So as I go through and do everything as I would normally, We'll just be flying up the quest, doing the ports and everything, etc, etc. But let's take a look here at the contest. It's a heroic training contest. Now you can see straight off the bat, we've got 22, we've got Void. Now let's have a look at the scoring. So it's find Nitro, find XP, find Colossus, spend gold, earn this power, find memory bits. Presumably that's for, yeah, Cosimodo. So easy. I don't have much of a guide for you here. Just fill up your two-hour missions so you get loads of those. Do some infected stages as well, maybe. Uh, so it is still pretty straightforward. Um, spend gold. Just upgrade a character skill. Maybe upgrade Cosimodo skills to the max. If you're going to do that anyway, do it now so you get a benefit. Then we're doing the trials. Uh, sorry, the port. So as you can see here, we've got the XP port here. So it, I know it's straightforward, guys. Just do the, just do the top one. It's not world-renowned advice. I know, but just get to the top and keep raiding, raiding, raiding. Now, actually, for some of these, it does make sense to actually backdrop and do some of the easier levels, which I think they've kind of fixed here because you're getting points for getting Colossus, Ultra, and Nitro. Now, if you look at the port I was looking at, you're not getting the other one. So what you could do is come in and actually drop down a few levels. So you're going to be able to obtain everything. Now, yes, you are going to miss out on a couple of Colossus drinks, but the thing is, it doesn't change anything else, really, because at 25 to 30, still trying to get 25 there, 5 to 10, so you're going to get 5 to 10 of the little ones as well. Now, if you do it that way, what you're going to see is, obviously, then you're going to get your points for 230 for those, 1,200 for those, one and then, why is that? And then 131 for those. So you can see that, there's a balance you've got to find. So if you raid that e slightly easier port, you're going to be able to take advantage of all of the XP drinks. Now, I know this obviously only really makes sense as long as you're happy with the actual rewards that you've got. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. Spend gold and upgrade Cosimodo and disc power. I'll do a load of infected stages. Find memory bit discs. Just go into the shop every day and buy the ones I need and then get some shards for Cosy. So then we go to rank and we're going to progress. So what we're we getting is it actually worth doing? Tier one, pointless. Tier two, pointless. Tier three, lovely. Tier four, pointless. Tier five, lovely. <laughs> so to be honest with you, what we've got going is we've got nice shards there, nice shards there, 
and we're going to be able to grab a few badge booster crates. So to be honest with you, it's not actually hugely vital that you even do this contest in my opinion. I probably will just better do it in the background without even thinking about it, but it's not that thrilling unfortunately. Did we win the Guild War? No. That's such a close battle I had yesterday. See, I always wait until the event started anyway before I get involved and start upgrading loads of stuff, obviously spending gold upgrading characters, da -da -da, all of that. So obviously I'm still try I'm still working on getting her up to the um up to yellow 15. And I want to get her up to like the hut one of that because she is my favourite character. So I want to get her up to a good level <clears throat> anyway. And then I can cross her over with Pocahontas here and she'd be absolute god tier. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It would be ridiculous. Claim all of that again. So I've got three more points, four out of 11 now. So yeah, they basically just kind of fix the prize wall a little bit to make it a little bit less rubbish, basically. Uh, reset, and, uh, reset and raid, yep. Uh, let's, I'll keep Mad Hatter in. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna keep Chip and Dale in. I'm actually going to, cause I wanna put, so let's keep Ariel in. I'll just take Mad Hatter out for now and do that. There we go. Come on, let's get some. <laughs> Didn't get any for Lee. <laughs> Great. The only problem I, I find is when I do these is that um, I don't actually ever get any shards to balance it out. So it always becomes one of those things that's a little bit pointless. But um, yeah, anyway. So we've, we've got a cool little contest coming on. It, this should be nice and easy, really. Oh, I like this. Get some shots with Duff. Oh, Perry. <laughs> but there we go, guys. So I hope you all have a brilliant weekend. I will keep you updated on my Facebook community about my computer. And hopefully we'll be back to it later on next week. But I'll keep doing my phone videos next week. And then once we get back onto the computer, I've got a new game I'm playing. And there'll be a few more videos coming. So you guys are the best. Thanks for hanging in there. Love you all. Have a brilliant weekend. And I'll see you all in the next one. Actually, just before I go, let's make sure I've got some of my missions queued up, loads queued up, ready to claim there. Brilliant. 24 hours of reward, so I'm already a day ahead. Normally it doesn't actually let you collect the back backlog ones, but we'll see. And my arena is going very well also. See you, Legends, in the next one.